As opening day approached, everyone seemed to be working around the clock. Where do you want this? Well, on the opening of facilities, uh, I'm confident that they will uh, because I just ordered up 40 more electricians to go work on the job site for the next 48 hours to make sure it opens, and it will. On opening day, the schools were in the spotlight. When students arrived, the technology was in place. The classrooms had been painted, and the textbooks were on hand. But there were problems. We have a lot of people coming in at the last minute to register, or I should say coming in and registering today. In fact, there's a line wrapped around the building. I'm here to register my son because I wanted him to go to White Wayne. They told me White Wayne was full. I went to try to put him in 35. They told me that school was full. So right now, I've been getting a runaround. Although registration was high, actual attendance on opening day was disappointingly low across the district. About 40% of the 13,000 registered students did not show up. And at many high schools, a new computerized scheduling system led to chaos. Rob Wayne High School was no exception. A lot of confusion with scheduling. If a kid was in the 10th grade last year, it gave them the same 10th grade schedule again today. We realized that students were placed in classes that they already passed the previous school year. Students were kind of all over the place just because of not knowing where to go. Teachers aren't even sure where they're supposed to go. Literally everyone kept coming in and saying, I have your class, I have your class, I have your class. And I'm thinking, how in the world do I have 40 kids that have biology fifth period? I'm a veteran teacher of 10 years. If I was a first year teacher, I wouldn't come back tomorrow. In fact, one new teacher left Rob Wayne after just one week. And Jake's windows? The broken windows are still broken, and they're still not fixed. But I have them covered in cardboard, so we can make do for now. And it still is the recovery school district, and there are still kinks that need to be worked out. And, and it's, not, it's not perfect yet, but it, tomorrow will be better. Repairing buildings may be the easiest challenge that Paul Vallis faces. So you all going to help me this year? I can hear you. You all going to help me this year? Let's hear it. You all going to help me this year? Work really hard. God bless you all, and I'll be seeing you real soon. John Merrill will have updates on both the Washington, D.C. and New Orleans schools as the year goes on. If you want to see John's earlier stories, visit our website at pbs.org.